here. I have your monthly guidance for the month of April 2021. And remember that these are general readings, so they're not going to resonate with everyone. Just take what resonates and leave the rest. You can check out your moon sign and your rising sign as well as your sun sign. All right, so let's get started. We'll do a few tarot cards, some oracle cards, and angel cards. Okay, this is interesting. I pulled a, the same three cards as for another sign. I'm not sure which sign. I think it might have been Gemini or Aquarius. Um, the energy at the bottom of the deck is the Tower card. So when I see the Tower card, I know that big changes are coming and um, they're for your highest good. So they may be uncomfortable at the moment, uh, but it's for your highest good and um, it's something that the universe is helping you with. Okay, we have the Two of Pentacles. So this is a card about, um, it can be a card that you have a choice or a decision to make. It's also a card about balance. So because it's next to the temperance card, I feel like this is about balance or balancing a couple of things. You might be trying to balance um, a job and school, a career and starting something new. Uh, but it has to do with earth energy, things you can see, touch, and feel. So I feel like this is, you're trying to find a balance or make a decision in regards to your finances or um, maybe a house, a car, something of that nature. It's next to the temperance card, which is also about balance. So there's definitely a need for balance. Um, it can also be that you need to, to be patient to allow things to unfold for you. You've got the Page of Wands, so there's something new coming, a new action that you're taking. It may be that after you make a choice or decision that you're, um, you're going to, you have a new idea about something and you'll be taking some sort of action. It can also be someone young coming into your life with the sign of Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. There could also be a message coming in, in regards to an action that needs to be taken. Okay. So Taurus, I'm going to pull from Amanda Ellis's Archangel Metatron deck, and we'll see what guidance we have for you. This is for the sign of Taurus for April 2021. Guidance for Taurus for April 2021. And we have a dimensional gateway, an invitation. It's number 33. So three plus three adds up to six. That, that's all about balance, harmony, tranquility, serenity. And spirit is, is asking you I feel like For some of you, it could be um, an awakening. It could be that you're choosing spirituality. Or finding balance in some way. Um, going into the higher dimensions. A spiritual awakening, enlightenment. What guidance do we have for Taurus? We have Akashic Records, Evaluation and Review. It's number 12. One plus two adds up to, I think it's number 12. Yeah. One plus two adds up to three. So that's, um, there's three threes here. 33 and then the three here. So this could be that you're evolving on a soul level. And it's a time to reflect. So you may be reflecting balancing, reflecting, reflecting on a decision that you need to make before you move forward. Try to find time to rest and rejuvenate, to meditate, to sit 
in stillness. There's some sort of ending here. You're being divinely guided. And with this tower card, I feel like it might be something abrupt that you aren't expecting. It's number 45. Four plus five adds up to nine. That's about, that's a number about leaving one cycle, closing up one cycle, moving towards a new cycle. And it may be that as you move towards this new beginning, it's going to uh, give you more balance in your life. You've got this page of wands, so it's a new start, a new beginning, a new action that you're taking, but you may need time to reflect on how you're going to move forward. And I feel like it's, it's definitely a choice that you're making. There's definitely a choice here. Message in a bottle, number 15. Uh, one plus five adds up to six. So we have the numbers three and six a lot in this reading. And with that page of wands and the message in the bottle, I think there is a message coming in. The message may be um, asking you to take action in some way. And with that tower card, This could, there, there could be a message coming in that could actually rock your world, Taurus, this month and be a, a message of an ending, but it's going to push you forward towards a new beginning. So try not to be in fear of it. The Tower card can be um, fearful for some people because it's hard for us to, to change. <laughs> You know, sometimes we'll sit in our pain rather than make a change, right? Because it's what we're used to. But Spirit says, um, the tower's coming in for your highest good. It's happening for you, not to you, if you can keep that in mind. And from Wisdom of the Oracle, Colette Baron Reed, let's see what other cards come up for you. Taurus, by the book number 11. So number 11 is a number that signifies a portal to the divine. And whatever decision you make, once this message comes in or this tower moment or message bringing you a tower moment, make sure that you're careful to um, do things with integrity. Do things with integrity, Taurus. It will help you in the long run. So be mindful of the actions that you're taking and how you're communicating. Um, do it with integrity. If you're signing any documents or anything of that nature, uh, make sure you that, that you read the fine print. Make sure that you, you know, Dot your I's, cross your T's, that sort of thing. This is Go the Distance, number 47. So um, 4 plus 7 adds up to 11. <laughs> uh, it's a portal. It's a journey. Um, you're on a journey. Try to be patient. You have the Temperance card, which can also be about patience. So... Spirit says, go the distance. It's not a sprint. It's a marathon. It's a journey that you're on for your highest good. Okay. So it, it may be a little turbulent, but try to see this from a higher perspective, that it's for you, not to you. And it's kind of nice to know that this tower moment is coming which can help you prepare. Try to stay in a balanced frame of mind. We have the, um, this is from Kyle Gray's Angels and Ancestors. It's the mirror, mirror guardian. Take time to reflect. So you have two cards here that are telling you to uh, reflect, take a step back, don't take you know, when this tower moment comes in, I feel like 
you're being asked to take a step back, not react too quickly. Um, take a moment, take some deep breaths. Um, and that's why you have this card by the book, because you don't want to make any sudden decisions or react too quickly. Take some time to reflect um, on what you want to do moving, moving forward. Okay. And we have Guardian Angel. So you're being guided. This isn't happening by coincidence. This is happening for your highest good. You are being guided. Take some time to be still and listen. Look for signs from your guides, from your angels, and you'll be able to get through this. Um, This is from Kyle Gray's Keepers of the Light, and we have Odin, Psychic Insight. Your third eye is open. See truth for what it is and follow your intuition. So don't over, don't not overreact, but don't react too quickly. Take the time to really go within. Know what it is that you want. Follow your inner guidance, your inner intuition. Go within your heart. I'm going to pull another card. I love Odin because Odin is one of my guides. <laughs> He's a shapeshifter. You may be going through um, spiritual awakening, knowing your own um, gifts, your psychic gifts. But let's pull a card. I, I want to ask what energy will be surrounding you this month of April. Um, So big changes coming for you, Taurus. It's Lord Ganesh, infinite abundance. Obstacles are being removed. So this tower is happening for you. It's removing obstacles that have been in your way that maybe you couldn't remove on your own. So um, try to see it in that light. Try to stay positive. Spiritual support and connections are increasing. It's a big message for you this month, Taurus. Um, I hope that you have a good month of April. Hang in there. It's for your highest good. Um, take some time to sit and reflect and, and try to stay grounded in nature. Okay, um, if you like these videos, please like, subscribe, and share. I'd love a comment if you resonate. And I will see you next time. Namaste. Take care.